everyone, it's time for a theory, a card theory. Thanks for, oh, nope, sorry, that was bad imitation of Matt Pat. I'm, I'm bad. All right, so guys, let's talk about this. I have a theory to present with you. Besides my Sharanui theory, which is Kazuha's brother still Sharanui in hiding, waiting for Giza to come out, or to stop Giza. I don't know. I still think Sharanui is a big threat. But, besides the point, we'll get to that later. Or, not in this video, but a future video. I have a theory on our wonderful thing, wonderful friend of Kazuto, who doesn't like to have a nice frontward view. As you remember from last week, he was absorbed into... Giza absorbed his mind through this wonderful purple glowing stuff. I'm currently trying to see what I have for photos, because I forgot. This is all in my episode review folder. Don't judge me. So Giza took over Kazuto. Very weirdly, I feel like... Chrono's father has something to do with this just because I'm looking for similarities in textures and cloth and this is currently what his father wears in the anime. We haven't seen him forever so maybe Giza's Chrono's father. Confirmed? Maybe not. So Kazuto, this wonderful bad boy that has forsaken us since the Under 20 series. He came in and now he's sort of everyone's main favorite United Sanctuary user. So theory time so as we as we're hoping we're gonna see chrono versus kazuto later tonight as it is um currently what's it called it is currently saturday when this is going out and my obs is messing up once again so i don't know how much of that you actually saw of me flipping through my photos but probably not enough for it to matter Wow, okay frame rate. Goodbye. I really taxed my computer on this. Moving moving forward, it's still recording, that's all I care about. So Kazuto is going to battle Chrono. As we know. I'm trying to stay focused here. I'm very tired. So I feel like Chrono still has the chance to become Giza's immortal slave slash host. Reason for this being is we have yet to see the United Sanctuary user. So I feel being that Giza took over Kazuto, Giza's gonna force Kazuto to battle Chrono and use the new Xeroth Dragon. Kazuto is then gonna beat Chrono because we need some sort of um, plot turning point for this type of anime to continue breathing and not being predictable. So. He's going to be Chrono, and Giza's then going to transfer into Chrono, the Gear Chronicle Singularity, which would then allow him to use the full extent of Giza, and also gives Chrono access to Drachma. It's either that, or Giza beats Chrono, and I said Drachma, I realize it's Dusk, I'm sorry, but Giza will beat Chrono, and then Chrono will become the new wielder of Dusk, and will get an evil of Chrono Jet, which I'm perfectly fine with as well, but... My main theory is G Giza controls Tazuto to beat Chrono with the Xeroth Dragon. Beats Chrono, because this anime is either too predictable or not predictable enough. And then from thus there, will take over Chrono, being that he would be the better host for Giza's destruction and would be utterly crushing to the rest of the party. And that gives us a complete full circle of all Xeroth Dragon wielders but one, Drachma, which is currently still in Ibuki's hands. How could we make this better? Dragonic Blade Master diff rides Tokoha's brother. Gives us a complete six and gives us a few more episodes to complete through the series until we get the ability to be, until the series has to end, unfortunately, around March slash April. Now, that being said, I honestly think this would be the best move for the show. Because, again, it gives us more characters, it gives us more diff rides, and it even gives Gear Chronicle a better deck option, or just better in general. I don't know. Like, I want this fight to happen, but I was really hoping Chrono would have been the villain of the series. Sort of like how... And, guys, before I continue, spoiler alert for other past seasons. If you have not gone and watched the Aichi arcs, Please don't watch them because it's very important. Now with, now I'm going to continue. If Chrono was to be the main villain, it gives us a Kai slash Aichi feeling. What do I mean that by that? Well, back in season three, 
Kai had converted over to Link Joker and using the clan for a while. By doing this, he was able to beat Aichi several times <coughs> and allowed us to get an evil character from what was once a good guy from the past two seasons. And then in season four, right after Link Joker, Aichi Sendo had traveled to the moon because for whatever reason, these characters really love space travel. Has anyone else realized that they've traveled to space a total of three times throughout all of Vanguard? Once to the moon, and twice to floating ma magic relics. Whoever writes this stuff, please. Let's enter hell into this universe. Why not go to hell? Besides the point. Moving on. So, if we had, if we get an evil chrono, we can get some form of unit that is similar to chrono jet, but isn't. We could get a... What we could really get out of this is a Chrono Jet that might be a Cray Elemental. Because right now, the going theory and hope for everyone is Giza's a Cray Elemental. I really don't see him being a Cray Elemental. I see him being more of... Unfortunately, more of a... Either Gear Chronicle or United Sanctuary Unit. I don't see... Or Giza his, his, is his own clan that harnesses the power of other nations. I just don't know how Giza could theoretically just be Cray Elemental and it be beneficial. And then if it's a unit that requires Xerath Dragons, that means you have to then step forward, Bushiro has to step forward and produce copies of each Xerath gra gra Dragon in Giza at a low rarity for it to be available for everyone at a fair drop rate. Completely flushing out the market. I mean, Xeroth Dragons themselves have dropped in price significantly. Drachma is only like 60-something, and so is not Meg Megigo. And honestly, the Zoo Nation and every other Xeroth Dragon is going to be quite low in their prices after the set's been out for a while. I mean, it's been less than a month in America, and they've already dropped to being less than $100, which is fine. I'm okay with this. But we need to think about what what is the next step. And I think Chrono being evil works well. That or Tayo has to become evil. Something has to happen to this trio. As of right now, we have them all fighting for good, or did. Kazuto has been diff-readed by Giza. It only makes sense that if Chrono or Tayo, one of these two characters right here, become part of this group, like... I don't see how Giza, I'm having a hard time with Giza itself because I don't like making theories of cards I don't know about. I know very, we know very little of Giza, nor do we know what it is, what its history. Because if you guys don't know, G series doesn't line up well with, with the original series card history. And there's a lot of reasons for that, and I blame it on time traveling Aichi Sendo. So, I'm going to quickly break into that before I end this video off. So, as we know, the war between Giza and Messiah has been going on for centuries. That's a problem, because Link Joker wasn't a clan on Kray. It was an invading force at one point. And then Aichi Sendo and Blaster Joker, an incarnate of Blaster Blade, that is part of the um, Lynch Joker series and Aichi's main avatar as a Lynch Joker unit, are really. How, how do I put this? Are. My brain's dying right now. I have somehow altered the past, which has introduced strides earlier in the series before certain characters would have either been born or playing the game like Aichi Sendo. Shin had strides before Aichi was playing back when he was younger. But at the same time, the timeline doesn't add up for when Shin and Chrono's father were playing the game for it makes no sense to the Chrono Jet or it makes no sense to the Aichi arc slash Chrono arc. So Shin was playing when Chrono was little. But Aichi is an adult, which really throws a wrench in the whole, how does these timelines end up? I mean, the best thing I get going for this is they're different dimensions altogether. 
this is a multiverse theory, and now we have multiverse Vanguard, which might be cool if they do. But I, I just between Giza and this, I honestly think the best thing is for Giza to to force him to beat Chrono, for him to take over Chrono, or for Giza to while battling Chrono forces Tayo to become the United Sanctuary Xeroth Dragon wielder. If not, then we probably won't see the Xeroth Dragon this week, and it'll be next week. But I've done a theory video on the Xeroth Dragon, which is released, I don't know if it's released later or earlier. It will be out at some point today, along with a Pokemon video and then the episode review. So guys, please leave a like and subscribe. This video is sort of sporadic because I don't know what I wanted to talk about entirely. But I wanted to share my thoughts, and please tell me what you guys think about this and what you think is going to happen in tonight's episode. I will see you all later. Keep it real. I've been the Silver Wolf. Peace.